Um, First, I just uh, on the Olympics uh, and the diplomatic boycott. Uh, several reports the president has decided to move forward with the move. Uh, is that correct that he's come to this decision? Uh, the Biden administration will not send any diplomatic or official representation to the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics and Paralympic Games, given the PRC's ongoing genocide and crimes against uh, humanity in Xinjiang and other human rights abuses. The athletes on Team USA have our full support. We will be behind them 100% as we cheer them on from home. We will not be contributing to the fanfare of the games. U.S. diplomatic or official representation would treat these games as business as usual in the face of the PRC's egregious human rights abuses and atrocities in Xinjiang, and we simply can't do that. As the President has told President Xi, standing up for human rights is in the DNA of Americans. Uh, we have a fundamental commitment to promoting human rights, and we feel strongly in our position, and we will continue to take actions to advance human rights in China and beyond. Um, the Chinese Foreign Ministry has already suggested that it'll be counter measures, firm counter measures, I believe the term that they used. Have they indicated uh, uh, to the administration yet what sort of action that they might take uh, for this move? Well, I don't have anything to read out in terms of their intentions or what they would convey uh, from officials from the PRC. But our view is that's not the right way to view or frame our relationship. Uh, our view is that uh, cooperation uh, on transnational issues is not a favor to us. It is not a transaction. The PRC should be taking action on issues uh, where, uh, there are, where the global community, uh, to meet the needs of the global community. Uh, and that's what they should do uh, in order to be a part of leadership in the global community. So I don't have anything to read out on their front. They can certainly speak for themselves. Can you 